A lot of actors overthink about the kind of roles they want to do. I am open to kind of any kind of role. If you think you are young, then that is what you will be. I also feel that with age comes maturity. But if you think that you are old, then that is what you will be. Why will I leave TV? For me, work is priority. The medium might change, but I, as an actor, don't. Why call me inferior to another person just because of the platform we come from? I think the audience need to reflect on that aspect. If I work on TV and on web as well, and even in films, then why just call me a TV actor? I don't tell myself what to do and what not to. If I like a show, I do it. I'm an actor first, then an anchor. Had I not been a popular actor, I'd have probably not got the opportunity to host a show. I enjoy the latter because it's me there, and I rediscover a lot of things personally. I don't interact with people much, so some people find me arrogant, but some find me very sweet. Different mediums are giving a different kind of satisfaction. The reason I do television, if I do web for the same reason, I will not be able to sustain it, and vice versa. On screen, I am the same as I am in real life. I have done almost everything be it acting, dancing, or anchoring. I am a good combination, I can talk well, have a good face and a body, and can also dance. I know that being an actor, I'm a public figure, and anything that I do will become news. I love acting. Anchoring and dancing have come to me because of acting. I came here to be an actor, all others are just an extension of it. I am not saying I have a problem with it. I am very proud to start from TV. It has made me what I am today. But to segregate people based on the platform they work on and then talk about equal opportunities, we shouldn't be. We live in a social media world where there are people who have perhaps done nothing big but are earning more than us. Who are these people following them, making them stars? It is the audience. I don't believe in the word influencer. I don't believe I'll inspire people because what might be right for me might not be from another perspective. In hindsight, most of us are also limited with our resources. One has to think about themselves too. So I put it out there that I'm open to collaborations on social media for brands too. If they deposit money directly into the account of an NGO, I send them. When you keep working with somebody, you find out a lot of things about them if you don't know each other personally. Acting is acting, whether you do it on TV, film, web, theater, or ads. It depends on the person, time and situation, what the individual wants to choose. Viewers don't see more of anchors because we shoot only once a week and it's aired across three months. So, you always feel that a certain person is only anchoring. I've been acting for 15 years and hosting for seven years, but I haven't done a soap, so a lot of people tend to think I'm not acting anymore. Yes, cricket is still the number one choice for youngsters. But today, a child wouldn't hesitate to tell his parents that they want to be a boxer or anything. Just because I am not seen on TV, people feel I am MIA. I have been doing a lot of web shows, but with so many platforms around, you can't binge on all my work. I am very relatable and approachable. Most 25-year-old guys have to work hard to impress the girls and have to do all the chasing. For me, the roles are reversed. What more can a guy ask for? It's fun to be the center of attention. I love being famous. 
I like watching different kind of shows, but I hate watching myself on TV. I feel I am a terrible actor. I will say, I love you, in the same way, on any medium. We have this hierarchy in our heads between TV and films, and I know that for a fact because I have experienced it firsthand. Before a celeb or a star, I am an actor. Since I come from a television background, that has been my school of thought from the beginning, but what TV does to you is it drains you out because you are just working every day. Sometimes, you have to reject a few because of the maker, because of the money, but I try to play every role honestly, be it big or small, hero or villain. I have been writing stories and working on ideas for a long time. I like writing and reading a lot, so I jot down ideas. It's not a big deal to send a film to the festivals, but yes, winning an award is huge. When you send a film at festivals, people talk about you and your work, and one gets great exposure. The basic idea of making this film was that even if one person is touched by the thought in the film, then my job as a storyteller is done. I have been blessed to have managed to make many good friends in the industry over the years. There are a few who are your best friends, and you do have soul friends too. I started driving when I was really young, at the age of 15 to 16. It just came naturally to me because I learned it on my own by observing others. Of course, I was never allowed to drive until I was 18, but I would park my parents' car at every given opportunity. I love driving and I love my car, so letting someone else drive my car is impossible. I drive myself everywhere. Though I love driving, I am not much of a long drive person. In Mumbai, we hardly have roads for long drives and the highways are mostly clogged up with traffic. I am really fond of accessorizing my car. If the world outside isn't too good looking, at least the car should be nice and comfortable from within. It's great when people recognize you as Karen Wahi and not a character you have played. Anchoring is a different medium. I wanted to try it and not stop working. I didn't want to sit at home and say, we'll do that one show when it comes along. Having a co-host helps because the humor comes through the banter you have with them. I feel every project that I have done in my life, which is acting oriented, has been something that I believed in. Before 100, my best work was Barcode, but if you didn't watch it, you will never know it. What 100 has done for me, it has opened up avenues where people find more things about me, other than my body or the way I look, because coming from TV background, there is anyway a little less perspective given to the kind of talent we possess. I am an actor, I get really happy when people find me good looking, but I am the happiest when people comment on the work I did. Usually, the interest in the personal lives of celebrities is mainly for gossip. As a celebrity, I understand that people are intrigued about our lives and want to know more, but I am also a human being and I grow angry about the same things that any other person would. I believe that it is my responsibility to keep my personal life normal by not talking about it. I try to remain under radar as much as I can. In our line of work, whatever we do makes news, and with social media, people comment on everything. When it comes to love, the day I get married, I will tell the world about my wife. I think Lara Dada is a super talented beauty with brains kind of an actress.